Please, I'm, that's what we're yeah, looking yeah, for. Yeah. We want to so celebrate the man's so, life. Yeah, so we go, we do these, and they, uh, somebody wanted us to sit with the film and do commentary over the movie. And that was against Miguel, uh, uh, Miguel Clues. Um, he, he's a, he's a, a huh? Purist? A purist, and he didn't want people talking over the movie. Over the and so we sat up there, and he goes, are we really gonna do this? And the audience is full, and we're sitting up on this couch. And I said, yeah, yeah, Clue, we're gonna do it. And he says, I'm not gonna do this. I, this isn't right. I'm gonna go to sleep. Wake me when we're done. <laughs> oh, so the movie starts, and he sits back, and puts his head down, and he can do that. He goes right to sleep. And so halfway through the movie, he um, wakes up, and says, is it over yet? <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> No clue, not yet. He was okay. He went back to sleep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. He felt very, it was it was not a good thing to talk over a work of art. Was that him? I probably. I, I I swear to you, I, I oh, get it. Florida. I don't remember. It was Florida. No, you were not there. I couldn't have been Florida. No, I don't remember anything Florida. like this. Oh, I know. Except outside of working, um, all I remember is watching this man like this. Where, um, Drew came. All of them watch him act. I never had one conversation with him outside of our lives. I was just scared to approach him. I, I thought he was this big movie star guy, and I never, I don't remember having one line with two outside of our lines. Not right. even one conversation. Y'all say he was a talking person. All I remember is looking at this man like this. He was always so serious to me. Yeah, ah, yeah. He was with Dave. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 I got it. Yeah, yeah. When he, when he signed on good. for that role, it was he considered beneath him. Yeah. Time, so he was really upset about it. Yeah. He didn't take it for the money, but and he always bad. He didn't think much of the movie, but later on, he realized the genius of it. Yeah. yeah. Later on, like ten years after the movie was made, so, and he got really behind it. I used to, I used to love his presence at these talks at these seminar things because he would answer a question and sometimes he'd answer it in the most secure, circuitous way telling the most divergent stories of all these things and we would just sort of sit back and go well, all right we're in good hands here and just relax for yes. a while yes. and listen to uh listen to him tell these stories was, uh, he changed and got a little uh, softer after him and beverly started dating <laughs> oh, I was dating him. You were dating him too? Oh, oh she was dating oh, Dan O'Bannon. Oh, Who okay. dated Dan O'Bannon? Not a Joseph. Oh, not Dan. Oh, my God. You actually told him? <laughs> she dated us all, didn't she? Yeah. No, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> She did date Dan. Yes. I talked to Clue a Call week me. before he died, and he was laughing, and he was sharp, and oh, cool. just really. Really? You talked to him a week before? Yeah. Wow. He was doing really good, you know, and he did that laugh. <laughs> I can't even yeah. do it. He, he yeah. just had this great laugh. Yeah. He's 92 years old. It's a, it's a long life. Yeah. Jimmy Karen died uh, four years ago today. Today. Oh, today? Wow. Really? Today. Yeah. Was it really? He, he was another iconoclast who could once again tell story yeah. after story. Yeah, that's a okay. great story. I had the, you know, the privilege of being in most of the scenes with them, and so consequently we were in a makeup chair together. And it, for me, as a young, you know, actor coming up, just listening to his stories and stuff, because he was on street, he was in Streetcar Named uh, Streetcar Named Desire on Broadway. He was with General McConnell, so he's worked with Brando and his. Wow. His friend was uh, Jason Robars, and he had some right. stories about him. Yeah, so wow. he brought him to set. He did. He brought him to he set. He does do a lot of stories. I remember. How old was he when he died? Jimmy was ninety-four. Was was he really? And what was the name? Uh, Ernie. Ernie loved to talk. Oh, Don. Yeah. Don. 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 Oh, you and so James? Yeah. Oh. We were born the same day? What? You and James? What? We were born the same day, November 28th. We found out on part two when we did part two. You got that? November the 28th. Send them your address so they can send you a gift. What's your address so they can send you a gift? Get the pen, y'all. Everybody <laughs> sing happy birthday day. It's November. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. One little bit of knowledge.
Tom introduced Jimmy Karen to a uh, this low life friend of yours who went on to do nothing. What was his last name? Clooney. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. that guy. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah, George. We were roommates when we were shooting Return of the Living Dead. Yeah. His aunt Rosemary kicked him out of their mansion in Beverly Hills because something went down at the house. So. Oh. I said, we were in acting that. class together. I said you can't, you know, you can't go back to Kentucky, sir. You know, because he'd be pulling, he'd be pulling a tobacco. So oh he stayed with you. Yeah. Well, oh, we Cloney staying with you? Well, we were filming. We'll have to send you some damn tequila. <laughs> I'm in a, in a nesty machine. Whatever it is. Or cash. <laughs> hey, he gave all his friends. Remember, he gave all, all, all his friends a million dollars, and you let him sleep on your damn couch. I'll have been safe there. I'll let you sleep on my couch. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was. Probably would. Here's my bin box. What's a million dollars yeah. smell like, Tommy? Yeah, what is it's it? heavy, heavier than you think. <laughs> it, was, it was all ones, but you know. Oh my God. And change. And he paid the taxes on it too, so it was like a million. That ain't like Charlie Sheen. Sheen. No way. Yeah. So no, Charlie Sheen would have parties, right? That. Charlie Sheen, right? He had parties, right? True story. Yeah. And he would get drunk. He goes, and it'd be this many people there, or more. Everybody gets a Mercedes. And the girl would walk around what? with her pad. And take your shit, and you get a brand new Mercedes. Yeah. Are you serious? Three months later, he'd have another party. That's why he's making three point five million a year and became broke. Have another party. If all y'all was here last time, and now there's another the same amount here double. This room is filled. Everybody gets a Mercedes. This lady walks around the room, and you would get it again. No kidding. Oh my God. That's, 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 that's Elvis Ryan? shit. Right here. Drunk Oprah. No, but if you're making three point five million a week, which that's what he was making. Yeah. Right. You think that's it? You think you can do that? Yeah. I know. Ryan Peck got a Mercedes. Yeah. Brian Peck. See, Brian got one from him. Yeah. there. All you gotta do is be at the party. Yeah, the party. Damn it, I left. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's turn it over to the.